make sure you have this document in your handbag or in your backpack if you're coming to the uk as an international student make sure you have them on arrival the uk immigration have taken this very serious now and they are deporting people from the uk like just on arrival they deport you because you don't have this document so ensure you have this document in your handbag or in your backpack before you arrive in the uk airport <music> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Fadjur. I'm so happy to have you in my beautiful family. So in today's video, guys, it's just a quick one. It's just a, a, an advice for international students that are coming in this September and beyond. The UK immigration is taking this very serious and a lot of students have been deported back to their country because they do not have all these documents with them and they were not able to answer some of the questions they were asked at the UK immigration. So if you're coming in as international student, Mostly if you're coming in from any of the African countries, the Asian countries, ensure you're able to answer these questions I'm going to share with you in this video and also ensure you have these documents with you. So guys, let's quickly dive right into today's video. So coming to the UK now, we all know that a lot of people are using that means to leave their country. And trust me, even the home office is aware of it and they are making it more difficult, especially for those coming from African countries. After applying for your UK visa and you finally receive your UK visa, you finally get to the UK, I'm sure you wouldn't want to be sent back to your country because you don't have these documents on you or because you're unable to answer these few questions the immigration officer will ask you. Now, I remember when I came into the UK as a student, that was 11 years ago, one of the questions I was asked, and they're still asking this question till now, is where are you going to, which is your postcode? So, if you have already booked for accommodation from overseas, make sure you have that postcode on you. The postcode to where you're going to, ensure you have it on you. So, when you are being asked and also the address, you will give it to them. So, one of the important questions they will ask you is the postcode of where you're going to. So, you have to provide that because if you appear like you don't even know where you're going to, they will keep you there waiting and they will start asking a lot of questions that may lead to maybe deportation if you're not careful. So ensure you know the postcode of the address you're going to. And secondly, ensure you know the postcode to your school. Remember, your cast letter comes with your school address. So ensure you have your cast letter on you. A lot of students have arrived in the UK and have been sent back to their countries because they don't even know the course they are coming to study, because they don't even know the address of the school they are going to study. So one of the questions that they may most likely ask is, what is the name of your school? Where is your school? What is the course you're coming to do? And them asking you those questions, want to know if you're aware of what you're coming for. And if you appear like you don't know exactly what you're coming for, they will actually just hold on and you know, they'll keep asking you more questions. And trust me, you're coming to the UK for the first time. You will be tensed and you may make mistake, even if you're, what you're saying is the truth. But because you've been asked to wait, the tension will start building up. And at the end of the day, you may end up making some silly mistakes that may lead to deportation which i'm sure is not what a lot of us want so ensure you have the cast letter the cast letter which we use in applying for your visa ensure you have it on you ensure you have your school address ensure very important this was not happening in the past but it is happening now and a lot of people have been deported due to this mistake the proof of fund statement you have i would even say if you have used your proof of fund still leave that money in your account in order for you to get to the uk successfully go to your school get into your accommodation and settle in without any distraction the proof of funds statement you use in applying for your visa ensure you print a new one after you finish with the immigration you can remove the money from your account but make sure you leave that money in your account till you arrive in the uk so this is not what they're asking everybody but you don't know the immigration officer that will be attending to you it's maybe one very strict person that and most of them are psychologists so they are looking at you while you're on the queue they like their cameras that are focused on you once you arrive or in any direction you're moving in any way you're they are psychologists they know what to do if we're not able to book like an accommodation where you will arrive and maybe you have an A, A and B you have booked for. Ensure you request for the address of that A, A and B from wherever you have booked it from. I'm sure when you're doing your booking online, they will send you the address of where you have booked for. So ensure you have it. Ensure you know the city you're going to. I remember they asked me when I arrived in the UK some years back, so where are you going to study? I told them I was going to study in Coventry University. So what are you studying? 
I told them, they were like, are you going to go back? I said, yes, of course, I have to go back after studying because I've come here to gain knowledge, take that knowledge back to my country to develop my country. And they're like, oh, that's nice. So when you are being asked that kind of question, because they know a lot of people want to get to the UK and they don't want to go back. If you're being asked, are you going to go back? Say yes and give them reasons why you want to go back after your study. Don't say you are coming because you want a better life in the UK or you're coming because once they sense that you're coming to the UK and you don't want to go back after your study, may further make them to delay you at the airport. So when you're being asked that question, just tell them, yes, of course you're here for your studies. And once you're here to study, we add value or anyhow you want to say, just say it in a way that after your study, you definitely go back to your country to invest the knowledge in your country. Don't give them this answer that once I finish my study, I'm going to look for a tier two visa job that will sponsor me to keep me in the UK. Please don't say that in as much as they want people to come and study in the UK. They don't really want a lot of students to stay back. They want you to study and go back. So the impression you will give to the immigration officer we further make them to ask you more questions. So ensure you have the address of where you're going to. Also ensure you have your offer later because they may want to see it. I remember what they asked me when I came was about my cast, which I showed to them, but ensure you also have your offer later. So they will see that there is a history, not like they don't know that there is a history, but they just want to know the level at which you are aware of what you're coming to the UK to do. So ensure you have your offer letter as well. So ensure you have your marriage certificate as well when coming to the UK. If you're married and you're answering a different name from the name that is on your previous document, just ensure you add your marriage certificate. And also, if you're coming with your child as well, ensure that you have the best certificate of your child. Don't travel without putting the best certificate of your child in your bag not the bag you will check in where you have your documents and the bag you have your documents should be in your handbag or in your backpack anywhere you want to keep it should be very close to you so when you're being asked any of those documents you can just bring it out and give to them so if you're coming to the uk this is september mostly october i know a lot of people a lot of students are coming in and like i said some students have been deported at the same time so these documents i have listed ensure you have them in your bag. Also the questions you've been asked, ensure you know the right answer to them. You should be able to know the duration of your study. You don't just tell them you don't know or it's for one year. You should know if it is 12 months, if it's 8 months, 18 months, any amount of months that your study is going to last for. Ensure you know about it. So when you're being asked, you can be able to explain. And also about the course you're coming here to study. Make sure you're aware of everything you're coming to the UK to do. That will also reduce your waiting time. Instead of waiting and they are asking you questions, it's a country that you're coming in for the first time. And I'm sure you don't want to be panicking. You don't want to be tense. So at the same time, if you have someone who is in the UK, who is a friend or a family member, and you don't have an accommodation you have pre-booked, you can as well reach out to that person and ask them of their address if they can be able to help you. And also ask the person about the airport where you're going to be arriving that how far is the airport to their address so that they can give you a clue of what it is so you don't get to the air where the immigration officers are and you start thinking about where you're going to so it will look like you don't really know where you're going to and you're going to create more problem for them so ensure when asking for address from your friends overseas ask them i'm going to arrive let's say i'm, I'm arriving in birmingham airport how close is birmingham airport to coventry if you're traveling from birmingham airport to coventry it's like 15 minutes on the train so these are the informations you should be able to know so once you arrive in the uk and you're being asked oh you're going to coventry yeah i'm going to coventry oh you're in birmingham airport so how long is it going to you already you're already aware try to google the location of your school and also the airport you're going to be arriving at so in case you're being asked that how many minutes is it going to take you from this airport to your school you already have an idea of what it is and also remember the address you're going to is very very important so ensure you have an address at least a postcode you're going to write because it will also give you a form to fill out where you're going to so that form any address you have taken from your friends or your family members or if you were lucky to book an accommodation or arrival ensure you fill in the address correctly 
on the immigration form you're going to be completing at the airport so if you do all of this i'm sure you will not have any issue they will not ask you to sit down and wait for more questions because they've already seen that and you're very much aware of what you're coming in to do for another important information i'm going to be sharing with you is if you're coming to the uk as international student and also as a skilled worker not only international student try to get a direct flight that will bring you to the uk like we know that the eus are no more with the uk and you require a visa to transit to any EU countries. I used to fly Air France or Lufthansa in the past but right now I can't be able to do that because I will need a transit visa to go through Air France or Lufthansa. So when booking your flight as an international student or as a skilled worker, ensure you look for a direct flight that will bring you straight to the UK without having to pass through any of the EU countries that will require a visa or any other flight that will connect you through any other countries but without having to pass take you through an EU country that you require a visa, require a visa to transit to the UK. Lots of students are coming in now and also a lot of skilled workers are also coming in as well. But for those of you who are still preparing to come, you can watch this video and start preparing yourself before you leave to the airport. So guys, we've actually come to the end of this video and if you have watched this video till now or you find this video helpful and you're yet to subscribe to join our beautiful family, please do not forget to hit on that subscribe button turn on the notification bell so each time i upload a new video you're going to be the very first person to see that video so until i see you in my next video guys do take care and have a lovely day safe flight enjoy your stay in the uk bye bye for now